In this video, I will be showing you how to disable file editing in WordPress that can be extremely destructive for your files and folders on your WordPress site. It's a function that I will always urge you never to use and I will show you how to turn it off completely. The function is called the code editor and it comes with WordPress by default for reasons unknown to me and I will show you why I think this is a, such a problem. Let's say I go into my site and I go and hover over appearance. At the bottom of this menu you see I have the option editor. And if I go to the editor, I get um, this, the code for my current team and here I have access to all different pieces of code. The problem is from here I can actually edit the current team I'm using. Or I can go and switch to another team which in this case is the David Child team. Uh, if I want to and here I have all the different teams available and I can go edit any file I want um, within the team and make any changes uh, according to my needs um, why is that dangerous well first of all this is a destructive editor meaning if you make a change then you can't save it re uh, and read the change or go back and undo it. The change is not permanent and if you break something you need to upload a new file to the server. More importantly though if someone manages to gain access to your site maliciously and they want to add code to your site, guess where they would go? They would they would go straight to the appearance and editor and they would go and just inject whatever code they need directly into your team. Or if they want to you could also go to the plugins and editor and they just uh, they could edit the plugin on your site as well that means that they could put all sort of um, quiz code into your site this function should not be in your repress I'm telling you that honestly because it's, it is a, a destructive editor you should never edit anything from here because you can't undo anything you have ever done and it's easy to make an error if you are going to edit content in WordPress, you need to do it in a proper code editor on your computer, then upload it. This that means since we don't need it and this is gonna be a vector for anyone who manages to get into your site and wants to place uh, malicious code either in your teams or in your plugins, we should simply turn the editor off permanently. That way it is simply not available and that exact that is exactly what we are going to do first I need to go to my um, WP config file um, if if I scroll down and to the bottom of this text and at the very bottom you will find a line of text that says um, that's all stop editing and happy blogging so right before the ta that, that text I am gonna add a couple of more lines then um, then I will go to my index file where you can find below this video and I will copy this short text and go to my wp-config.php file and paste it here all it says is is define and uh, this define disallow file edit true so it takes the function disallow file edit and it toggles it on meaning the file editor inside WordPress admin panel will not be disabled all I have to do is now save WP, uh, WP config file and upload to my server so when I go back to my website um, if I click on um, experience the website is still there but, um, once you refresh the website you will now see in the appearance that the editor um, there is no editor likewise for plugin for plugins um, under the menu for plugins there is no editor as well that simply means that I can no longer edit the live teams or the live plugins on my site and like I said that's um, not something you want to do anyway so you are disabling a function you are never I'm gonna use and you're also making your site more secure it if for some strange reason someone and somehow managed to gain access to one of your admin accounts this combined with all the other things we have done so far 
will make your um, site far more secure and as a bonus it will also prevent you from accidentally um, crashing your site when you somehow stumble into the editor and then make some sort of uh, incremental change to your team and accidentally remove an important comma or an important semicolon or something else and then everything goes higher so disable the editor and you'll be far better off than you were before